who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. 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 Yeah, yeah. Damn, it's quiet, but it's noisy. The ceiling fan making noise. Them eggs over there boiling. It's weird when silence is loud. Hey, what's up, little folks? This is Jeremy. And this is Rashad. <laughs> <laughs> Zip it, motherfucker. Anyway, hood folks, so... Um, Thursday is Thanksgiving. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist and all that stuff, but I'm not that, I'm not that extreme. I don't celebrate holidays no more. Like, <clears throat> I mean, it don't even feel like Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Slave of July. You know, it don't even feel like, you know, none of the days, Valentine's Day, birthday, nothing feel like nothing no more. It just feel like we just alive, alive. So, you know, we just alive and Paying bills and tired of folk talking about William Mass. Anyway, but anyway, I don't celebrate no day, so that's why you don't see a whole bunch of Thanksgiving recipes and none of that. But I'm also not the kind of person to tell people what they should and shan't do because I'm not paying your bills. Can I pay your bills? Pay your telephone bill? No, no, no. I don't do that, so I got to go. Cause that shit is whack. <laughs> anyway, but I don't pay your bills, so I'm not telling for what they need to do in their household. But this video is this. This is a little appetizer. But let me tell y'all something. We got a dog. If y'all just start tuning into the channel, the dog don't like his dog food. We had to literally the dog go all day. We lay his food out. He's like. <laughs> I mean, he just ignore his food all day. And eventually, as he see us eat, and we ain't gonna share our food with him, then he be like, guess I gonna eat this old nasty dog food. But what I did one time, I had made, I had boiled some chicken for some, and I had a little chicken juice left over. And I poured the chicken broth on his food, and he demolished it instantly. I'm like, whoa. So this is what I did, which leads to the video. Come on down here. Last night, I put this, I went to the stove, and this is my first time ever cooking this a day in my life. A whole chicken. I put my chicken. <laughs> I put this chicken. I, I wash it out real good. And I put the chicken in, this, in the crock pot slow cooking. I. Time out. I was just reading that the CDC telling everybody not to wash off their chicken. Off, off their turkey. Because it could cause it's, it could cause cross contaminate more risk. It's a more risk of uh, salmonella poison and all that other stuff. Cross contamination. I said that sounds like some bullshit. You get more salmonella by not washing up anyway. Uh oh. Now you shouldn't have said that because this is a double trigger pose. I just gotta do it. That's a double trigger. It's a double trigger. Y'all ready for y'all trigger? Every time we give it, we gonna give y'all a warning. It's a trigger. That's only apply to white folks. <laughs> you know black folks gonna wash their meat off regardless. They not paying attention to no CDC. We don't pay that no attention. That's what white folks do. And second trigger, I put this chicken in here with no seasoning. White folks, way again. Now all white folks don't cook like that. I seen some white folks who can season good. But for the most part, I put this chicken in here. I didn't put no season, no salt, no pepper, no onion, nothing. Because I just wanted the broth off here because this one I'm gonna get to the dog. But this chicken, Ooh, God, that looks disgusting. Ooh, I don't want that. Cancel the video. I can't eat that, man. Damn. Man, God. Man, man. See, I guess what I get for talking about master. Cyber master. Damn. I'm going to tap that for master. <laughs> <laughs> but we put the chicken in here with the. Ooh, that look nasty. I should have let you done this and I could have. Mm -mm. I'm going to try to get through it for the sake. 
Damn, that meat show is falling off, though. But it is falling apart, though. I guess that's good. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I just seasoned this chicken in it. I just put it in the slow cooker for about, I think I put eight, nine hours on. I put it on nine hours on low. Mmm. Ooh, that looks nasty. It smells good, but it looks. <laughs> 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 it looks raw, but I know it ain't raw because it's been cooking for nine hours on. Mm. Anyway, y'all, get your chicken out. <laughs> get your chicken out. Yeah, look at that. It fell off the bone. It is falling off the bone. That's good. But get your chicken out of your broth. And I'm going to save all this broth for salsa no such. For the boss. Who is not in the house while we're cooking. Nope, I put him outside. Because he probably, he be smelling the food and he want to get closer. Even though he don't go no further than that line right there. He don't come in the kitchen. I'm not the kind of person that allow animals in the kitchen. That's nasty. Ugh. All right, so here go the chicken. I'm going to pull this apart, pull all the bones off of it, pull all the skin out of it. I'm going to let it chill for a minute. It ain't that hot because it's, you know, crop out been off about an hour. So it's been sitting here chilling about an hour. And I'm going to make some chicken salad, which can be a hors d'oeuvre while you're waiting on your turkey and dressing to get ready for Thanksgiving. Now, over here. That's all the broth. <clears throat> I took out, well, most of the crumbs. Here, go over there. Cause boss ain't getting no. Some little chicken bites ain't gonna hurt him. But this ain't got no salt on it, so when he eat a dog food, it won't be too salty to bring that blood pressure up. Because we take blood pressure beer in there, and I can I send his ass to the. <laughs> Wait! Should I dip it in there like that, or should I use a spoon? Use a spoon. This gonna take all day. These folks ain't got time to watch this. I got this the container right here for 99 cents though. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And what we're gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna put all this in here for him. And when we get him dog food, which he ain't interested in eating, we're gonna pull this on. And then we're gonna do a test at the end of the video to see did it work again. Because last time we did it, he, how he ate that food? Go. I mean, like he was deep throat. I said, that's making the stag. That's the old Lick Kim make a Sprite bottle disappear in his mouth. <laughs> that motherfucker was swallowing. You know, this would make a good broth for them to make um, some dressing with. Oh, hell yeah. And if you haven't seen my dressing video, I'm going to put it in the description box below. And you need to go watch my dressing video. That's how you make dressing. Now, that's how my mama make dressing. That's how I grew up making dressing with cornbread. The shortcut I used in the video, I think, was Jiffy bread. You can use Jiffy cornbread. I like Jiffy. I used to, damn, that's hot. I used to hate Jiffy back in the day. Cause it was, cause you know, I didn't grow up eating sweet cornbread. My mom didn't cook sweet cornbread. And it was only to my sisters who started making Jiffy cornbread. And I was like, oh, okay. But I didn't like, I didn't like Jiffy. But now I like Jiffy. Especially when you do that little trick I told you. That spoon of mayonnaise in there. That spoon of mayonnaise and a little bit of regular cornmeal that make that, that damn cornbread taste like grandma cooked with fat arms. Hey, that came right on time. You think I should give him the rest of that little giblet gravy down there? <laughs> the dog will eat good. Nah, that's good. Yeah, that's enough for his egg layer. This, and that's amazing that the chicken. This is the chicken. I didn't put no salt on it, nothing, and it still smells like it got seasoning in it, which is weird as fuck. Did they season the chicken before they even? What did they for? Go ahead and mark it, mark it on there. There you go. Sauce and no sauce. There you go. Sauce and no sauce. Now what are we gonna put this in? God, no, you never put in the refrigerator. Yep, it's going right in. That's the nasty. No, it ain't having nothing. That's just like I noticed. Have y'all noticed that the dog in the in the grocery store they got the dog food over there by the ice cream and stuff? Like, ugh, that's nasty. We don't do that. I'm gonna have to do something with this because this ain't going to a refrigerator. It's going in the refrigerator. Well, I ain't go. It ain't touched them yet. All right, so I broke all the chicken down and got all the gristles out, all the skin out, all the bones out. And I'm just making sure that it's no more bones in because you don't want no al dente chicken. <laughs> All right, so that's the chicken. 
And it smells good and nasty at the same time. It smells good because I guess the chicken nasty because what it is. I right, remember wash my hands. All right, here, folks. So let's put this chicken salad together. Now, the inspiration behind this chicken salad, I got some juice on my lips. I can feel it. Is stove top kisses. I like her. It's be socked up. But she made some chicken salad a while ago, so I'm gonna kind of go by what she did. I'm doing it a little different because I made the chicken broth for the dog. But I see a bone. I see another bone. I tell you. When it's, when it was kind of dark over the other side of the, uh, the kitchen, but when you come over here to the light, you can see more stuff. That's why they say, let your light shine. Let your light shine, shine, shine. You get all the stuff out. Y'all look at the little cutting board. I got the little cutting board on Amazon. I like it, got the little slots in it. So I'm starting off with celery. And this is two stalks of celery. Onions. I never thought I would put onions in chicken salad until I had when we were staying in the hotel earlier this year, and I was staying and we and I was buying a lot of, you know, I started off in June buying a lot of chicken salad because it was easier to eat in the hotel, and they had onions in. I was like, ooh, but it was actually good. Now, again, for the people who can't cook, because a lot of you motherfuckers can't cook. I'm just being straight up. I did not season this chicken when I cooked it. So we gotta put seasoning in to have it some flavor. So, seasoning salt, lower sodium. I'm gonna start off with this much and I'm gonna adjust it as I go. Chicken bouillon, this is salty as hell. I'm only gonna put a lid in there, see? Like, that's it. This is salty. Chicken bouillon ain't no joke. Garlic powder, just a little garlic powder. I'll pull to your damn arm start hurt. I'm going in with some Miss Dashes, onion and herb, salt free. Pull and stop. Black pepper. I like it kind of peppery. That much. Deer weed. Or marijuana weed. Whichever weed you want to put in here. Put that much in there. Now, if you know me, y'all know I only use olive oil mayonnaise but since i want this to taste like chicken salad chicken salad not so healthy tasting i'm using real mayonnaise with cage free eggs it don't matter if the eggs was in the cage or not they still ain't free because they in here getting cooked Shit. <clears throat> so i'm using starting out with two tablespoons i don't want my chicken salad to be running but i damn sure don't want to be dry either pickle relish Just pull to you, don't want to pull. Mustard, now I gotta get that little pre-cum off the top of it. Just a tad bit of that. Sugar, now y'all know I use healthy sugar, but for this video, we are gonna use regular sugar, which is gonna go to waste, cause I'm not gonna really use regular sugar. <laughs> and now we're gonna stir. Ooh, that look a little dry. But that's a, mm, that smell good though. See, that's dry. So I'm gonna go in with some more marinade. And this is, what was, what was, how many pounds was that chicken? Oh, that's a whole chicken. It was like, I can't about six pounds? About six. I'm gonna stir it. All right. Now, when I make my chicken salad, I had to put a little pickle juice. Pickle juice has a lot of salt in it. And that gives some flavor too. Y'all know pickle juice is the root to Chick-fil-A sandwiches. That look a little dry still. I like my salad wet. Now I'm, like, I'm going with eggs. <clears throat> All that proper shit. People be all that pro. I, don't, I told y'all we cook how you really cook at home. All that proper cooking, we don't do that over here. Rough chop them, your eggs. Some people squeeze them. That make me sick to the stomach. That look weird. And some people grind them up in a cheese uh, shredder. And I think that's the best option. But you know something? I don't even think I got a cheese grater no more. 
I think I gave it to the Goodwill. When we moved, yep. I believe so. Damn, I got to buy me another one. And I got to buy me one of them little scraper things too. You put, you know, you use to scrape the food with. That big on thing. Yeah. I got to get me one of them too. That look wet or dry? Dry. I know, right? Damn, I'm still seeing bone. Hey, that look a little dry. So let's go in with some more lemonade. You need to, if you need to adjust your mayonnaise as you go, don't just go in with a lot of mayonnaise at first because it might be too wet. Oh, you might like your chicken salad like this. I know I like my chicken salad moist, wet. Juicy. Tasty. Good. And making them macaroni and cheese sounds. <laughs> now let's taste to see I need the most season. Let me tell you one thing about cooking I hate is sweat. I hate sweating right here on my forehead. Okay, this needs seasoned salt. This needs a little bit more beef bouillon, chicken bouillon. This needs a little bit more pepper. And for the people in the back who's stupid, oh, that's too much seasoning. If you were to season your chicken before you cooked it, you would not be using this much seasoning. And it needs some more mayo. That's a lot of damn chicken salad. <laughs> That's gonna last for a while. This gonna last all this week. I might save it up and my sister says she gonna come see me for crema. I might put it in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw it. <laughs> ah. I'm going in with a lemon more pickle juice. Pickle juice helps me be kind of loose. Damn, that's smelling good. See, that's how I like my chicken salad to look like that. See, it's starting to look like chicken salad. Wanted that be good on the sandwich. Hell yeah. How y'all like these y'all chicken salad? I like my chicken sandwich or my chicken salad on crackers only. Are you gonna put any grapes in it? Ooh, I had some with some grapes in it earlier. That was not, that. I didn't like that. Not to me, that's not good. If you like grapes, Put grapes, apples, fruit salad, shit. Put a damn whole hog head if you want to. If you want to? Is it your house? So, um, I did have a chicken sandwich. It's been some years ago from uh, Golden Chick. They had a chicken salad sandwich and it had grapes on it. It was good. I don't know. I mean, that it was good. Mm. They had that on that bread, man. A little bit more soup, and I think we is almost done. Mmm. Golly, that's good. I'm eating on this all week. Well, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Salad. Well, you eat you some sandwiches. If it's good. Big three. <laughs> Look at that. Stove top kisses should be proud. That look like straight from Alabama right there. You see them eggs, you see them onions, you see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put her link in the description so you can see how she did it. I just remixed it a little bit for me. Golly, now let's see, you can be chill, let it, we gonna let it chill for a little bit and then see what it do it taste really, really, really good. Boss, eat your food. Eat your food. Uh-huh. You're not gonna eat? Look, bossy. Let's see what we eat now. Okay, is he interested? Is he interested? <laughs> it's a winner. <laughs> it's maybe a winner. Second place? This dog hate all dog food though. Uh oh! I hear a crutch! Yeah. 
Y'all see that BS? And I done tried several different dog foods and he did the same thing. But when I put that chicken broth in there, that's maybe, all you hear. <laughs> Triple pole, maybe this is a white dog. But well, you don't like those seeds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm through. I'm finna leave white folks alone for the rest of the video. You heard me say the rest of the video. You're right. <laughs> So let's see, he gonna eat it all, eat it up, make a happy plate. Look at, he, 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 look at them tea. Look at them tea, he eating that like he need to eat some. Golly. <laughs> he gonna clean the whole bowl, boss? Fat ass. He's searching for more, he wants some more. He wants some more. Y'all, he cleaned that damn bowl, so oh boy. So I guess so, y'all. That's a hood tip. If you want your dog to eat their pet food, make them some chicken broth with no seasoning, and they go back. Look at that. Still lick it. Any other time, that dog would look at that food and walk by and had look his nose down on like, ooh, I don't eat that shit. <laughs> like he booze or something. Ugly dog. All right, this is not a dog video. Your time is over. We cut it out. Wrap. Cut. I right, hood folks, so here go my chicken salad. It been chilling for about a good hour, maybe, I don't know. So, somebody said, where the red plates at? Y'all know we ain't get rid of these red plates. <laughs> Gee. Salad, I had salad a couple of days this week. So, let's make this plate of chicken salad. That's fresh lettuce, romaine. Romaine is my favorite lettuce. I like romaine the most. When I eat my salad, though, I do have to put it in the microwave let it get warm. I don't like cold salad. All right. Let's get down on here. Like I'm at the lunchroom. <laughs> Baby, what all you want on your plate, you little ugly fucker? You look just like your daddy, just ugly and fat. What you want? Sit him. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that chicken salad. Ooh, it look good. Let me put a little bit more on there for presentation. That look good. Let me find some crackers. All right, I like wafer crackers with my chicken salad. So while you, everybody cooking for Thanksgiving, take you some of this and make you some of this chicken salad. Some, get you your chicken and make you some chicken salad. Brain with you and snack on it while the Thanksgiving food cooking. Or you can take this same meat and use that leftover turkey. This is the perfect combination with that turkey salad. Let me get a thumbnail. Can you see me good holding my plate? Let me know, babe. Hold on. I'm trying to fix it to the point where it's gonna get it. I'm getting out of breath. Okay. You ready? I'm gonna make my sweat, make sure my sweat go on. Where the hell makeup at? You ready? How long you gonna hold this shit, Mighty Brown? That's you. <laughs> <laughs> you just sitting there. All right, y'all. Let's tell you this good old chicken salad. Stove top kisses inspired. When I eat chicken salad, I like to put my chicken in my mouth. We hate your turn. No, come on again. Stay your ugly right there. And I'm freeze over here. Don't come over here. Action. This is good. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh! go, go, go now. Stay over there. This is good. The flavor is there. The chicken is very tender and moist. The, I like the way that the celery is real strong. You can taste that celery taste. Now, if you don't like to taste the celery, leave the celery out. I don't taste the onions. The flavor's still there. It's good. It's flavorful. Now, only thing I would say that I need for this is probably a drop of more mayonnaise. Just a drop more mayonnaise, which I might put in later on after it get, really get through free cooling lot because it's cool, but it's not 100% cold. See, I don't like doing them. I don't even taste the eggs either. They're good. Mm hmm. Alright, so uh, let me pop my bed open because if this nasty, I'm going to be mad as hell. Shut up, box here, boy. 
There we go. All right, let's dig in. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna plant. Still come good. Come on, get these people a review. We ain't got time to sit here and watch you leave it to beaver head, motherfucker. Later on tonight. But come on with them review. If you anyway, <laughs> her fault. He gonna get mad, but this is the best chicken salad he done made in a while. <laughs> That's a lie. Man, this is good. Like you said, you can't really taste the onions. It has a lot of flavor to it. I can't even taste the eggs because I don't eat... I don't eat deviled eggs at all. I hate deviled eggs. I hate potato salad, ain't egg black. salad. Ain't black, ain't black. <laughs> Mayo. I can't, eat, I can't eat celery by itself. Mayo mafia. <laughs> <laughs> you got some mayo in here. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this is good, huh, folks. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be enjoying this for the rest of the week. Like, comment, subscribe and press that ugly ass bell button to get notified whenever we put up new content on this page. Now, um, I'm gonna talk like this for the remainder of the video so y'all can uh, see that. Sure, I want y'all to see your little taco meat, y'all. Look at the little taco meat. Oh, I, I wasn't trying to show it off, but um, uh, we can, y'all can look at it. You know, <laughs> the Taco Bell up in this Ooh, bitch. Woo, baby, come on, Santa. Come on, we need to get the house paid for Santa. Santa the taco meat. Is it turkey or is it all natural beef? It's all natural beef. Ooh, all beef natural. No, nothing <laughs> at a, artificial. Woo, no steroids in there. All right, <laughs> but we out of here. <laughs> look at that chicken's ass. Look at that chicken's ass. Look at that chicken's ass.